Hey, Miss Brown. I'm here at 1836 Hickory Trace Drive. A lovely home here in Fleming Island Plantation. It is a community that each individual neighborhood is gated. So you have the stone fascia on the front. Come down here. The roof is architectural, which those last night were from 25 to 40 years, depending on the makeup of the shingle. And this is stuccos on the side of the house. As long as stucco is painted once every few years, more often than you would paint a regular house, and it seals these cracks, then you're good. This one has three ACs. Come down here, it is an actual golf course right behind it along with the pool. Little side entrance. You have the golf course right behind you. And that's the pool equipment for regulating. So a neat little trick with ACs and the serial number if you're able to see the first four of the serial number, it will tell you the week and the year this model was made. So on this one, the serial number is 0803. So this one there, they might be original. On this one, it is 0803. So all these ACs are either from 08 or 03. Um, they would need to be replaced fairly soon. Maybe that's something we can ask them to do. Or write an offer reflecting that. That's my baby, the Mitsubishi Galant. 2002, I bought for 1500 bucks. About a year and a half ago. Best car I've ever owned. So, come around the front, let's say three individual car door to garage. It's really quite lovely, huge. And come around the side here. You, know, you wanted to see the whole house, so get right here. I'm checking the walls for any cracking of the stucco, because that would let moisture in. I guess I'll have to go around. But still. So, come inside and walk into side to this Six bedroom, five full bathroom, 4,000 square foot home built in 2003. You have a $70 HOA annually and a CDD, which is a community district development district, which allows the HOA to stay lower, which takes care of the roads uh, for $1688.19 a year. So a little over a hundred bucks, not too bad. You walk in high, high 20 foot ceilings or 30 foot, I believe, 30 foot, I think. Really walk in. You have the dining room right here with the chandelier. Off to the right, you have kind of an office or a front guest room or movie room or whatever you would like. You have a double-sided staircase leading upstairs and you have an amazing fireplace. Sills up on top to place things, high windows, Walk right out into your pool. Fully screened in pool. Da -da -da. 
all the screens are in pretty decent shape. Maybe that one right there needs to be replaced, but so the way every pool is part coated in a layer of Marsite. Now Marsite is just what covers the pool that keeps it from like scratching your feet. And that needs to be replaced like once every 10 or 12 years, which when you see a lot of brown spotting that isn't leaves, that's when you can kind of start to tell a sign that it needs to be uh, replaced. And about a thousand or two thousand dollars. I don't say that lightly. I just say that to educate. That is actually a door to or from uh, almost like a mother-in-law suite, a little separate bathroom. Now come in here, you have the kitchen with Harry Potter's closet underneath the stairs. Hmm. Lovely little backsplash, huge sink, garbage disposal. Let's see. Anything good to eat? No? Dang. Got a couple ice packs in there, though. Nice little island with electrical. Pantry with the frosted doors. And this is to keep it from hitting there. You have a really awesome laundry room off to the side. Big enough to put a little table here. See? That keeps it from knocking the wall and messing up the security for alarm system. Now come in here and so this one says 4103 uh, for the AC. So that was from the first four, 30, 41st week of 2003. Very spacious garage, three garage, separate garage door openers. I just fully totally painted too. So you have two panels. So got plenty of room to add things. Good news is, is when the house was built, if there was a termite bond, if they kept it up, that would be good. Otherwise, that would be found out during uh, inspections. And just to make sure everything's good, I highly recommend having a general inspection, a WDO inspection, and from the general inspection, we'll get the four point and wind mitigation report, which we use to get insurance on the house. So, lots of weights, some golf clubs, Cool stuff, nice metal wrap. Now, come back in. Okay, the kitchen, those are probably 10 foot ceilings on the kitchen. And that leads up to 30 foot ceilings in the front great room. Of course, this is the dining room we're walking through, front door, nice big window. Nice chandelier. And then we have the double sided steps. I mean, now this is just kind of cool. Got the kitchen right there. Everything come up there. You can go up a few more steps. And now that's amazing. So come over here, you have the landing from up the steps. You have one bedroom, two bedroom, and a bath. And then you have kind of like a gathering area, living room almost. And then you have the third bedroom with a bath. I'll have to put a double vanity here if you wanted. Really quite lovely. <clears throat> so, no, no leakage problems from what I've seen, but that's just me. <clears throat> Blind, fixed. Now, this is the kind of living area. Up here, living room, uh, landing almost. 
And so this closet is bigger in this one than the other one that had the bedroom, but it's still pretty good size. You actually have attic access up here. And the second bathroom, sliding glass door with a shower and the roof. Some wear and tear on the shingles. And then you have the third bedroom upstairs. And this is an office overlooking the street if you like. Really lovely. I'm going to end it with this view right here. Well, first my face. So thank you for watching this. And I appreciate you allowing me to facilitate the, your, the purchase of your future perfect home. And then there's this view looking down here.